Good morning, watch fans. It's been a minute. Wow, I have just not had the urge or the need to post anything on this channel. But I've had a bunch of new subscribers and I've had some very nice conversations. And, um, you know, a few things have happened in the watch world in the last 48 hours, week or so that have really gotten my attention. So I figured now's as good a time as any. As you can see, the watch box is almost exactly the same as it was when I posted last time a few months ago. Uh, the arrangements changed because I am very seriously considering dumping 8 to 12 watches. Um, watches I simply don't wear. So what we have here is, you know, my core 8. I'm wearing my G-Shock Titanium today, the Stealth Wealth. You know, the, the do-it-all everything including the brass band kind of watch it does everything and uh it's a great watch and i really like it but it doesn't get worn much and so i'm i'm going through my collection and these seven watches here on the bottom these are watches that i regularly wear and i mean regularly wear i probably put them on these are in straight hard rotation um you know the four expensive watches and the three cheap ones um they're in pretty good rotation uh, I wore this one for a really long time, and it's in the, the middle row is the on-the-cusp row. The top row is definitely going to go bye-bye. So, um, you know, this is the serious watch that, uh, you know, it's a Casio. It's 135 bucks when I paid for it. Uh, I don't like the day-date. I've never liked a day date. I like a date only. Um, so having day dates kind of a, I just don't like it. I don't know why I just don't. Uh, I think it's my only day date other than my G-Shocks, which, you know, they're all sub registers on a G-Shock, so they're hard to see. But this is, you know, eh. And I honestly don't like the band. The band on this thing is a little bit weird. Uh, it doesn't have an auto lock tab like the other Casios do. Um, my G-Shock you know, when that when this little piece goes in here, it stays in, it locks in place. Um, this one doesn't have that, and so it's constantly coming undone. It feels just kind of weird, and the band is extremely stiff, and I've gone through four or five other bands. I do have some stuff on order from Barton and a few other places to try and find a black and yellow or black, yellow, and white band that I really like. And if I can find a, a strap I like, I'll keep it. But so far, I've gone through 10 or 12 straps and haven't found anything I like yet. So uh, the long jeans, you know, it's a very nice watch. It is easily, if it was a 41 millimeter, I would keep it. It'd be enough. I could live with the lack of micro adjusts because it happens to be a very good butterfly clasp that fits me pretty well. Um, as you can still, I, see, I do wear it quite a bit. It's been beat to live in hell. You know, it's got a lot of, a lot of nicks and crannies. But being 43 millimeters and 220 grams, it is a big, it is my biggest watch by a long shot. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Um, I do like, the, I wish it was a 41, really, honestly. That's my biggest problem with it. It's a 43 and I've had it, you know, two years now or something. I did a while. It doesn't get a lot of wear time, uh, mostly because of the size. The Tassel is a rebuy. You know, I got this and I've got the Tassel Diver and the Tassel Explorer. Um, they're rebuys. I've had them for a while. The only reason why this one is in there is because I'm considering buying a real Explorer. Um, I've, you know, when I sell these watches, uh, I'll have a little bit of money and I could buy a real Explorer. Um, I could. I might not, though, because, again, I'm not a huge fan of Mercedes hands. I love the Explorer dial. I love the 9, the 6, and the 3. Love the Loom. Big fan. But, you know, the size is 38 and 38.9 millimeters. It's not a 39 millimeter watch. It's a 38 and a half or so watch. So it's kind of small. Um, and it wears just like the Rolex, which is a great dress watch, but it's a dress watch. You know, I use it as a dress watch. Dress watches are generally smaller and, you know, a little bit plain. And uh, this is a great dress watch for me. Uh, and that's what I wear it as. I will occasionally wear it otherwise, but really that's my dress watch. So this is on the cusp because I have so many G-Shocks. I just got this in December for Christmas. I think I posted about it. Um, and uh, why it's a great watch, it is, you know, it's on the cusp. I'll probably keep it just because it's a gift. But in reality, I just have, you know, I'm going to end up with four G-Shocks or four Casios, maybe five. Um, so, but it doesn't get worn a lot. I got worn yesterday. 
but it didn't get worn a lot. And the ones on top, this never gets worn. Um, just, what are you going to do? Um, the Long Island watch, pilot watch, the Reese, which is now RZE, uh, everyday wear, uh, XKX, fully modified, a Samurai, Psycho Samurai, the Notice Fang Dial with the pumpkin color, the Decel Diver, and of course, a G-Shock Solar um, on a steel, from the Chinese steel bracelet. These just don't get worn very much. If I'm going to wear a steel bracelet, you know, I'm probably going to wear a GA2100 on a steel bracelet, which I much prefer. And now that I have three of those with steel bezels, <laughs> two on steel, you know, I have this black one. Um, which is a great little watch. It's my first 2100, DI 2100, and um, love it. Not going anywhere. Um, and got a fantastic bracelet, and it's comfortable. So why would I sell it, you know? Um, and, of course, my Duro, a $50 Duro. I almost keep that just because 50 bucks. you know? It's a $50 watch that keeps great time and hits. It's a quartz that hits every single marker. I mean, you know, how many times... Have you worn, well, you have a nice big smudge on that one. How many times have you picked up a, you know, a quartz watch out in Walmart or wherever you're at, and the second hand doesn't hit anything. It doesn't hit a single thing. This one hits every single marker. Let me get the light in here a little faster. So this one hits every single marker and uh, hits it beautifully. So I love that. And I've got a few, G I've got, got a few, uh, Quartz here, and um, you know, my uh, my Casio Illuminator, it actually doesn't hit them all, but it has an auto correct feature that I can't figure out. Somewhere right around six, the six, maybe it'll let me go catch it on camera, it'll correct itself, it'll be missing indices, and it'll have a stutter right there. It missed the 15, and um, it's missed the 16, but. It'll correct itself here in a second. There, it missed the 17. Um, right. Now, is it going to not correct itself? There it is. It's back on again. So, you know, I don't know what the deal is with this watch. It doesn't hit them all, all the time. And it seems to make a little stutter and correct itself. Um, I've asked about it before online in a few forms and no one seems to know why. Uh, there it is now at the 1 and the... You know, up at the uh, up at the ten, the eleven, it's back on again. So who knows? But again, it's a pretty good watch. If I could find a band for it, I'd probably wear it more. Um, you know, and these four aren't going anywhere. These are my four, my my three tutors and my Rolex that aren't going anywhere. I'm I'm just they, I wear them all the time. Um, I forced myself to wear this today because this is another watch that's on the cusp. Um, I do like the Stealth Wealth. I just don't wear it much. Um, you know, it's comfortable. It's got a great bracelet. It's got good hand finishing. Uh, uh, you know, it's a $1,700 watch when it's new. And it's probably, if you can find one new, you'd pay fourteen or 1500 for it now. On the used market, they're going for a little more than a grand. Um, and it's a great watch. It is the, you know, it is the Casio Superwatch. And the new version of this has all the text and writing on it that I just can't stand. The new titanium version with DLC coating and the sapphire has a bunch of text written all over the God's country. And it looks terrible. So, not for me. So, you know, that's really the update there. And um, I think I'm going to close this out just to let everybody know that I'm still alive. And uh, this will go up first. And then I'll do, I'm going to do a second video that's going to go up tomorrow um, on what's going on in the watch world. This has been Big Jim with the big wrist. And yes, my wrist is still eight inches. Hasn't trunk anymore. I've lost another five or six pounds. But um, still got an eight-inch wrist. So still the big wrist. All right, then. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.